Nokia was a pioneer in the mobile phone industry, launching some of the first cell phones and dominating the market for a decade. It introduced a variety of models at different price points, making mobile phones accessible to a wide audience. Many millennials remember Nokia as the go-to brand for mobile phones. In the late 1990s and early 2000s, Nokia was incredibly successful. By 1998, it was the best-selling mobile phone brand globally, and by 2007, it held a 50% market share. Innovative technology, a push for digitalization, and dynamic leadership were key factors in its early success. However, by 2013, Nokia's market share had plummeted to less than 5%. The company faced potential bankruptcy, but Microsoft stepped in, purchasing Nokia's phone range to save its Windows platform. This intervention helped Nokia regain some stability. Nokia's failure stemmed from several factors. It didn't adapt quickly enough to the smartphone revolution, continuing to produce outdated models while competitors like Apple and Samsung surged ahead with innovative smartphones. High competition also played a role. Nokia underestimated the rise of competitors like Apple, Samsung, and even lower-end brands like Huawei and HTC. These brands capitalized on innovation and affordability, drawing customers away from Nokia. Nokia failed to reposition its brand and adapt its strategy. While its competitors launched flagship products with regular updates, Nokia didn't create the same buzz. The company's complacency and overestimation of its brand strength contributed to its downfall. Internal issues, such as a rigid organizational structure and lack of coordination among divisions, further hampered Nokia's ability to innovate and compete. The sudden shift to a matrix structure led to top management departures and operational inefficiencies. In recent years, Nokia has diversified its business and focused on network infrastructure. Although it's not the mobile giant it once was, Nokia has started to regain a presence in the market with new smartphone models and business strategies. The story of Nokia's rise and fall offers valuable lessons. Adapting to changing market conditions, understanding competition, maintaining a visionary leadership, and fostering a flexible organizational culture are crucial for long-term success.